In this tutorial, we are going to talk about some of SimLab Composer's features that would allow you to perform basic modifications and improvements to your 3D model in order to improve the realism of your design's appearance and without the need to revert to a CAD application. This is a 3D model of a computer desk with several elements placed on it. What we are going to do is to attach the input devices and the screen to the computer case at the lower level of the desk. First of all, we need to create a hole in the desk where the wires can pass through. Go to the Create menu and from the Shape submenu, select Cylinder. The cylinder will be used as a guide for creating the hole. Set the dimensions for the cylinder and click OK. Place the cylinder where you need to create the hole and keep in mind that you can use the white control points to readjust the dimensions of the cylinder. Once the cylinder is in correct placement, go to the Geometry menu and select the Difference Boolean operation. The Difference Boolean operation allows you to subtract the shape of an object from another object. Select the desktop as the first 3D object and the cylinder as the second 3D object. Click on the green mark to perform the operation. We now have a hole in the desk with the same radius as the cylinder and in the exact location where the cylinder was placed. Select the inner surface of the created hole and change its color to match the desk. The Boolean operations are smart tools that ease the process of performing simple modeling tasks within SimLab Composer and without the need to go back to the CAD design application. The next step is creating wires to connect the components to the computer's case. Go to the 3D Models Library and from the Wiring category, drag and drop the USB plug onto the scene. Press N on your keyboard, then click on the USB port to snap the USB plug in its place, then rotate the plug to fit into the port. From the Create menu, select Paths, then Composite Paths, since creating a wire requires a path to serve as a guide. Set the Creation option to be in 3D space and click OK. There are several types of composite paths, but we will be using the B-spline path since the flow of its curvature mimics the appearance of wires. Enable the Apply Tangent while picking for the first and last point when creating a wire to make sure that the wire ends are erect. Click on one of the USB plugs to place the first point in the path. Disable the Apply Tangent while picking an option and click on the created hole to add another point on the direction towards the mouse. Enable the Apply Tangent while picking again and click on the front of the mouse. Click on the green mark to finish the path creation process. You can click on the path's hard points after the creation to control the location of those points, which in turn control the shape of the path. Once you're satisfied with the shape of the path, go to the Create menu and under Features, select Wire. Select the path you have just created and click on the green mark. In the Wire Creation window, you can select the type of wire you are about to create based on the shape of its section. You can choose from a circular shape, a rectangle, or a fillet rectangle. Set the radius for the circle and click OK. You can now determine the orientation of the wire section, but since this wire is circular, changing the rotation will not have any effect on the wire. Click on the green mark to create the wire. Now that the wire has been created, you can modify the material applied to the wire.
To create another wire connecting the monitor to the case, let's first add the VGA connectors. Drag and drop the VGA plug from the 3D Models library. Then press N on your keyboard to snap it to the VGA port. Use the rotation tool to accurately position the plug. Add another VGA plug and place it in the VGA port on the computer's case. From the Paths Creation menu, select Composite. Set it to B-spline and start placing points from the monitor all the way to the computer's case. Click on Create Wire and set the new path as the guide for the wire creation. Select the type of the wire and determine the values of its dimensions. Click on the green mark to create the wire. SimLab Composer aims to simplify the 3D visualization process for the user, offering powerful and easy-to-use tools that can significantly improve the overall workflow and allow the user to focus more on creativity rather than exhausting technicalities.